this was a symposium on the recent advances in the management of relapsed refractory myeloma. Uh, the treatments have significantly changed over the past decade, especially with several new agents that have come up. And also the uses of combinations uh, have led to improved outcomes, both in newly diagnosed myeloma and relapsed disease. The symposium was focusing on the therapies that are being used, specifically focusing on the, those, those therapeutics that are targeted towards the underlying biology. So we had several speakers on that panel. Uh, we had um, Professor Fekon who went over the approaches to management of refractory disease. Um, Professor San Miguel who talked about the approaches that we use that target surface molecules. Uh, and I covered the area that are, that's looking at enhancing uh, cell death in myeloma cells by targeting some of the intracellular structures, especially apoptosis. So the cell survival in myeloma is driven by several growth factors uh, which uh, targets many of the or stimulates many of this, the signaling pathways which in turn leads to upregulation of the anti-apoptotic molecules, especially the BCL2 family members. In per, of particular interest is the uh, drug venetoclax that is a specific um, inhibitor of the BCL2 protein and the preclinical studies suggest that venetoclax can effectively kill myeloma cells. Based on the preclinical data, the phase one, two study was done that demonstrated about a 40% response rate with single agent venetoclax in the relapsed refractory patients. And the benefit appeared to be particularly relevant for patients with 1114 translocation. And based on some of the preclinical work suggesting that uh, dexamethasone makes the cells more sensitive uh, to venetoclax, a follow up a study that used the combination of venetoclax and dexamethasone demonstrated a 65% response rate. There was also um, other mechanism that suggested combining a proteasome inhibitor might be synergistic uh, with venetoclax and on the basis of that a phase 1-2 trial was done that showed that when you combine venetoclax with uh, botasimib uh, in a group of patients with relapsed disease, uh, the overall response rate was upward of 90%. That led to a phase three trial, the results of which are going to be presented at EHA this year.